Hello, everybody. I have this cabinet over here, but I need this is a base kitchen cabinet, but I need to have a cabinet with just one door on the bottom and the upper drawer. So I don't need to to build this new cabinet from scratch. I could just modify this and get rid of rid of this right door and just have one upper drawer and one down door. So let's go ahead and do that so you could see uh, how I modify this and save it as a new cabinet. So the first the first thing that we are going to do is to save this cabinet as a new one. So let me go ahead, hit over here, save as. I'm going to save it on this location, cabinet base, and I'm going to put base with drawer box on a door. Put base, one drawer, and one door. Save. Um, from here, we need to select this the drawer front. The right. This is the one we got. We need to get rid of this. We don't need it. So I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete the component. Okay. I deleted two times because the first time it just got out of the of the assembly component where I have that. So I just deleted when it got out of it over there. Uh, I don't have that door anymore. So let me go over here and edit the sketch where we created these doors. I have those sketches name and name. So I'm just gonna hit the the sketch which is named doors. I'm gonna hit over here edit. And I'm going to delete this profile over here on the right. I need to select these lines one by one. You select it, you make a right click, and you just delete it. So now we need to update this um, dimension over here because I need this do this door, this profile, this profile for this door to cover the whole front of the cabinet. So how do I do that? I'm going to delete this uh, profile over here, this dimension over here. And I'm going to create a new one from here. No, I'm going to create a new one. Actually, I didn't have to delete that one. I could just uh, edit that dimension. What I'm going to put over here is the the width of the cabinet, which is a parameter that we already have. Minus. I'm going to open a parenthesis over here. Reveal two times. I'm just going to type reveal, select this uh, reveal parameter, um, use the multiplied operator for two, and I'm going to close this uh, parenthesis, and I'm going to hit OK, enter. So what I have over here is, uh, is profile, 
for the complete front of the cabinet. As you can see over here, I have uh, a little space over here which is controlled by, by this uh, reveal parameter. If you check over here, this is, I'm sorry, let me, if you check over here, the one on the bottom, is the same parameter that it is controlling how much we are leaving as a reveal on each side of the door. So I know I have to create a constraint over here because I want this one, this, this is the upper drawer. I need this line over here in order to be always equal. Uh, it used to be collinear with the right door, but we don't have that door anymore. I deleted and that constraint was deleted also. So I, I will I just going to recreate that. I'm gonna hit over here, collinear, select this one, and I want it to be collinear with this one, the one that we just modified. And that's it. That will be all for this cabinet. As you can see right now, it's, it's, it, this cabinet is too big for for just one door. But we just change over here the width. I don't know until width, until what side you, you, you just do one door. But I'm going to put over here just 18 inches so it, it will look better. Um, this is what I have now. I'm going to hit over here finish sketch. And this is what I have now. That was really easy. And um, we just have another cabinet for our for our kitchen collection. If we want to use this one in a kitchen job, we just we just choose this one and we cool update the depth, the height and the width of this cabinet and that will be all that we need to do. Uh, if we need to do a, 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 any major modification it might be a good idea to save it as a new cabinet. So let me hit over here save and as you can see I'm going to hit over here the, on the browser and you could see over here that I have a new cabinet which is called base, one drawer, one door. That's our new cabinet which I have already open on the right side. So that's a new cabinet for our kitchen collection. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep updating all this uh, kitchen library, creating kitchen libraries for uh, for I mean creating a library for kitchen and creating a library for closets also I'm gonna hit from now on I'm gonna I'm going to share in the description a link with all the parameters that I'm using for doing my 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 cabinets so this list over here of parameters you're gonna find a link on the description of the of the video where you could go and download if you want that list of parameters. That will just give you an idea if you want to create something similar. Thank you for watching. Subscribe please.